morning. Welcome to Exploring the Car. It's a rainy Thursday morning and I am freaking tired. Um, damn, there's a lot of accidents and shit going on out on the road too. And I'm driving through the mountains. So this week, um, my lineups on my radio shows are Friday on Spiral Radio. Um, it will be me doing the hour, and it will be about dragons and ancient tales regarding dragons and what they might be. Saturday will be remote viewer John Velosky. And um, I've had him on, well, he will be on my, my Eye of Raw show on True Frequency Radio. And I've had him on my Spiral Radio show once before. Um, and I have a few topics I want to talk about with him. knowing that comes over you and it's almost like time doesn't exist anymore for a little while and you you don't have the barriers of the world's problems and the restrictions of time and and all these rules over you and you're just living in the moment and the past present and future is now it's just this oneness this plurality of existence that comes on over you and it's a it's a beautiful thing I mean so this has been taking place with me since I'm a young boy these these little moments and 
I've been able to pick on up on things a lot easier now and quicker. And so one of these happened to me recently and I was, I try to go every year to the Native American Festival in Anthony Wayne, um, about 45 miles outside of Manhattan. Um, it's in the mountains. Yes, there are mountains a few miles outside of Manhattan. And um, mystical mountains even, you know. And uh, this is in Bear Mountain. The Native Americans do a festival there every year, and this year, like some of the others, was run by the Red Hawk Council. And uh, I showed up. Mika too, she was with me, and we only spent about 40 minutes there, really direct, we, we looked around the, the booths for a little while, I showed up in time for one little show and message, and it took me almost a couple weeks to put it together, and then the final pieces of the puzzle were put in, so I'm not going to explain everything, because uh going to give you the brief detail, but I showed up, and almost immediately as we got in, they were starting a ceremony, and there's two ceremonies a day, this was the second of the day, and as soon as they began to start, a red hawk, like literally some kind of like dark brown and red hawk was flying over the, I mean, it wasn't released by anybody either, this was not planned. It came from the woods and it was flying and gliding over their little ceremony. And their ceremony consisted of um, singing and dancing and a little a musician was playing as well and drums, tribal drums, and tribal drums, you know, if you listen to tribal drums, it, it can open dimensions, it can open portals. And so the drums were going, and they were doing some kind of plumed serpent dance. With the the woman had all these like plumed serpent uh, headdress on, like almost like a feathered serpent, you know. And uh, they were doing that as this hawk was flying over. And it took me a little while, you know, to realize that it was a message about this hawk moon, and. I figured out about this hawk moon and the hawk moon to the Hopis, to the Mayans, many, many people um, believe that was the most important moon of the year was the November to December hawk moon. And I feel that this hawk moon will be bringing some drastic changes to our world and our environment and our people as a whole. And it's a, a moon to look for. and to say many blessings towards that everything goes okay because this hawk moon this year is going to be a, a very important one if not the most important one that we've ever encountered um you know that there's dragon naga machines that can control our weather and may possibly be responsible for terraforming and creating our world um they can look like feather-looking, scaled beings. You know, in the British, uh, in about the uh, 1600s, there was the Henham dragon. And this dragon was seen over and over again. And and then it before it disappeared and I know that it affected the weather of the whole world at the time and you know people really have seen this as well they like it was not just in their minds 
and they can inhabit and look like clouds and cloud banks and all of these things so we have been seeing this it's been around us and they are almost in constant motion in the breezing air and they roar they are the wind they are what, what controls the rain and rolls the lightning and thunder and where did I I know I wrote down somewhere his name yeah the celestial dragon Chaelin or Phelan and it was as a Chinese dragon who was called like the celestial lung and you know there's a lot on him he was uh, known to have you know rain bring downpours of rain and this celestial lung Fei Lin might be responsible for the storms in Puerto Rico this machine this Naga machine, which is some sort of, I don't know, some sort of technology that we just don't understand. Or if we do, we don't know about it. And I got to go into work, and I'll see you guys later, and spiral out.